Hello friends, uh, in this video I will uh, tell you how to solve multiple logic gate waveform, okay, when you are having multiple logic gates, okay, in a single circuit and a waveform, input waveforms are given to you. So, how to solve such kind of questions? So, the question is saying determine the output waveform for the logic circuit given below. Input values are shown in the wave uh, diagram as follows. So, A, B, C, D, the waveform is given to you, all the waveforms are given to you. Now, you see your circuit, circuit is, this is having your OR gate, okay, this is OR gate and this is your AND gate, okay. Now, A, B bar, C, uh, D bar and C bar. So, input, although here you can see the input is in A and here in the circuit, the input is in complement form, okay. So, uh, two things are there, we are having two OR gates, one AND gate and another thing is the input, some of the inputs are in complement form. So, our first approach is to convert your input in complement form, okay. Because if you, if you start directly doing this, so A is in normal, okay, and B is in complement form. So, when you will uh, draw the circuit, okay, when you try to draw the output waveform uh, of the each gate, so it may uh, confuse you, okay, it may, may, maybe you will be confused and you will give, uh, get the wrong answers. So, it's better, first, the, our first step will be, we will draw the complement inputs, okay, what, what I want to say, A b bar c bar d bar okay so let's draw it so guys uh, please like and subscribe my channel so a b c d okay inputs are given to you now a as you already know a is a uh, let me change the color so a is a okay and i have drawn b bar okay so b bar you see this is one so i have taken zero i think it's better to change the color red so see here b is one so here b is zero you can verify here for two pulses it is zero so here it is one for next pulse next two pulses it is one so i have taken zero similarly c c has converted to c bar so for first three pulses uh, first uh, first three uh, duration t1 t2 t3 for t, uh, duration it is one so i make it zero okay zero one you can see next four is one so you can verify i have complemented means what i have did i have complemented the input okay so now this is your new input waveform okay so now we will uh, draw our output according to this new input waveform okay this is our new input waveform so this is our in new input waveform okay and this is the circuit so i have taken this is the first or gate this is the second or gate okay and this one is the third nand gate so i have taken x as output of the first or gate y as the output of the second or gate and z as the third or gate oh sorry third and gate so I have, as uh, in my previous video, I have told you many times, it's, it's uh, uh, to get the error free uh, output waveform, it's better to draw your truth table beside the waveform, okay. So beside the waveform, you just draw your truth table. So this is for R1, okay, for R gate. So let's start drawing this one. So I'm drawing for X, okay, first R gate. So I will take, I will consider only A and B bar okay so now you check your or gate to table so you can see 0 0 combination will give you 0 0 1 combination will give you 1 1 0 will give you 1 and 1 1 will give you 1 so what what will be the con conclusion that if any one of the input is 1 the output will be 1 you can see for 3 when both the inputs are 0 then only you are getting the 0 output okay so i think now it's very easy to draw so just go and find where is uh, both the inputs are zero. So you see this first pulse, both the inputs are zero. Okay. So your output will be zero. Okay. Now for first one, one, one. So make it one. Okay. Now B is one for this duration. So keep it one for this whole duration. Okay. Now you see B is zero, zero for this duration. So check here A is one. So it will remain one okay now a becomes 0 b becomes 0 so it will become 0 now <clears throat> this is 1 1 
and b is one you you just take any one of the input then you check the uh, other one so i'm taking b bar okay i'm taking b bar so b bar is uh, one for this whole duration so make it one because you already know if any one of the input is one so output is one so again now b bar becomes zero for next three pulses so now you need to check okay that a is zero or not so a is one so it will remain one okay now a is become zero so this will also become zero okay for next pulse a is one so this will again become one okay so uh, make it a little better waveform okay make space like this here also my drawing is not very good okay so now this is your output for x so you got it your x input for the nand gate now let's go for y1 so let's draw for y okay for second or gate y we will do it for y so here input is b bar and d bar okay here input is this b bar and this d bar okay so now take it now start drawing this one y so b bar for or gate you already know when both the inputs are zero then only you are getting the zero output so b bar is zero and d bar is zero so you will get zero okay and d is zero still seventh clock so here what you need to check only b if b is one so output will be uh, one if b is zero the output will be zero till seventh clock okay so here b is one so make it uh, one for next two clock okay then b become zero so make it zero next two clock b again become one so make it one till this value okay because d is zero now d become one okay so no need to verify uh, about b b bar okay so b bar is means whenever i am saying db it means i am talking about the uh, bar values okay because we have already drawn the new uh, waveform okay so d has become uh, one so d has become one here so no need to verify for the b bar so this is one now d is zero so go and check b bar so b bar is zero so this waveform will become like this okay become zero so now you got it your y bar also okay so you have x y bar now you have the c bar so you need to calculate the z so here the twist is the z this and gate is having three input and i have drawn the uh, two table for the two input so in case of and gate uh, if there is three inputs so there is not much variation because you can see the truth table of and gaze is telling you when both the inputs are one then only you are getting the output one rest of the cases you are getting output zero what it means when if any one of the input is zeros so you will get zero output when all the inputs are one then you will get output one what it means that for three input also this will occur okay if all the inputs are one then only you are getting one okay so what we need to check so let's change the color of the pen okay i'm taking it uh, purple now see what is the input for z input for this z z is x y and c bar so where is our x this is our input x this is an input y and this is our input c bar okay so what we need to do we need to find where the where the all the inputs are one so let's start with c bar i am taking c bar as reference okay so c bar is zero for three values okay what it means if any one of the input is zero so output is zero so z will be zero for three bulbs okay since c bar is zero so no need to check x and y okay now go c bar become one for this whole duration okay now we need to check x so here x is one okay x is one for this pulse c bar is one and x is one so now check y y is zero so okay so any one of the input is zero so this is zero okay this is the zero level eh? now c bar is one but x become zero x is zero and y is also zero so any one of the input is zero so it will remain zero c bar is one x is 1 and y is 1 okay so all the inputs have become 1 so now it will become 1 
now c bar is 1 for this pulse x is 1 y is also 1 so it will remain 1 now c bar is become 0 till this value to this whole duration what it means no need to check about x and y value just directly make it 0 and remain it 0 because if any one any one of the input is 0 so the output will be 0 so this is the way to do uh, multiple logic gate questions so i hope you got it this explanation so guys if you like it please like and subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching